Sony and Honda have combined their expertise to produce an electric car prototype unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show this week. Now, it might come as a surprise to many of you that Sony, a company known for its electronics, is manufacturing a car, but that is precisely the case. In this video, we look at Sony's entry into the EV market and what we can expect from the new car. Stay tuned! The 2023 Consumer Electronics Show was an exciting event, and it's great to see this year start on a high note. We got a glimpse of Tatamal's electric bike, the world's first four-seat electric vehicle that can travel by road and up to 400 kilometers by air, a glance at Volkswagen's new ID.7 and much more. However, the most exciting of them all was the collaboration between Sony and Honda. Sony has plans to launch a new fully electric sedan under the brand Afila. Afila will be launched under the joint venture between Sony and Honda Mobility. This new car was designed to prioritize entertainment and interaction, so we probably shouldn't expect great performance stats. This car is purely going to be a showcase for what Sony is capable of and how it can integrate its technology into EVs. Afila features interfaces developed by Epic Games and screens for movies, games and infotainment fitted to both the interior and exterior of the car. Anyways, drivers will be able to make use of these amenities even when behind the wheel, as the car is set to offer autonomous driving guided by an array of 45 different sensors and cameras. These sensors will also enable drivers to personalize Afila's cockpit based on their biometric data. The companies have suggested matching the positioning of the seats, steering wheel and surround sound to their exact height. Yasuhide Mizuno, CEO of Sony Honda Mobility, said this during the presentation at CES. We want to think out of the box to revisit the underlying philosophy of vehicle design. In addition to movies, games and music, we envision a new in-cabin experience using our expertise in UX and UI technologies. Afila is going to be an all-wheel drive electric vehicle and would effectively function as a moving entertainment space, according to Mizuno. This starts on the exterior with a narrow display screen known as the media bar, which is nestled between the car's headlights and displays the car's logo in lieu of a physical emblem. The screen could also be used to glean other essential information, such as the EV's charging status, Sony Honda Mobility has suggested. The company compares Afila's sinuous exterior to a spaceship, complete with a glass roof and self-opening doors. In contrast, the car's interior is almost entirely held in white and designed to embrace the occupants in a soft cocoon. Stripping the cockpit back to its essential components helps to minimize distraction and keep the emphasis on the car's entertainment offering. Even the steering wheel is cut in half to form a semicircle and avoid obstructing the panoramic screen that wraps the entire front of the car. While the cockpit is stacked with screens and infotainment systems, Sony hasn't forgotten the occupants in the rear. The car's rear is serviced by two large display screens of its own, complete with surround sound for every seat. Beyond films and games, the car's various screens will also display augmented reality driving assistance graphics developed using Unreal Engine, the gaming engine of American game developer Epic Games, who, as we saw at the start of the video, have a part to play in the development of Afila. Now here's a fun fact you probably never knew. Sony's Afila isn't the first car whose software is powered by Unreal Engine. The first car to be powered by this software is General Motors' Hummer EV, unveiled in 2020. Epic Games Chief Technology Officer Kim LeBerry said, Modern vehicle technology has loads of potential to enhance the driving and passenger experience with sensors, active safety systems and beyond. And the most natural way to visualize such data is through intuitive, interactive photoreal augmentation, the very stuff that our game engine was built to do. By combining Sony's sensors and Honda's expertise in driver safety, the companies hope to develop the world's highest level autonomous and assisted driving system for Afila. Keep in mind there is no car, not even Tesla, with the self-driving capability Afila is set to receive. The company said this system will have level 3 self-driving capability, meaning that the car is autonomous under particular conditions, allowing drivers to use smartphones or watch movies while on the go. Afila systems will be run via dedicated software, which Sony says will continually update based on the subscription model. In total, the car's electronic control unit will have a maximum computing power of 800 trillion operations per second. To accommodate all the high-performance computing required to perform these various tasks, Afila is working with telecommunications company Qualcomm to integrate its Snapdragon digital chassis into the design. Afila is set to be a powerful software-driven car that is connected to the cloud 100% of the time, 
according to Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Amon. Sony's new car is truly exciting, and we're waiting to see how it performs on the road once it's launched. Well, that's all for this video. 